Well, good evening. So tonight's video is a tale of three Tomicas. I realize there are four Tomicas, but I only have three. Um, as you know, I have this uh, basic Tomica, and I'll open this up and take it out of the box. I have the TLV. I'll open it up and take it out of the box. And for the first time today, I killed two birds with one stone, so to speak. I have another version of Tomica, the Tomica Premium, and the first uh, the first Ferrari in my collection. So I got this from an eBay seller in Canada uh, called um, Tokyo Station. Uh, this is the first purchase that I've made from them. Uh, I usually don't mention sellers, but the price was fair uh, with shipping and delivery was fast. So, um, no, I'm not subsidized. No, I got no payment. No, I got no inducement. He doesn't even know I do videos. So here we go. So, Tomica Premium 365 GTS4, scale 161. Um, this is brand new in the box with the, with the cellophane. Let's see. Any important information that we can decipher here? It's got a Ferrari license there. Uh, let's see if I can see a copyright year. Ah, I can't, but maybe you can. Let's see. Tommy made in Vietnam. So now I'm going to put this down in the back, and we're going to first, first off take a look at the two extremes of Tomica. We're going to start off with the Tomica basic uh, which I have had before shown before and that is the Toyota Crown Comfort taxi which is not a, not a bad model just not a premium uh, and believe it or not I paid um, this one I paid retail price this one I got from Walmart so this was uh, I believe about a five dollar car Okay, and this is the Tomicas that have the suspension. Uh, it has an opening feature. In this case, it's the back door, the single back door. Uh, the basic wheels and tires. Uh, decent tampos and the inserted plastic grill. Um, but not a highly detailed car. But, a, you know, a decent car. Is it a $5 car? Uh, no, it's a $3 car, but, you know... Uh, even at Walmart, it's $5. But as we've seen from other brands in that price range, um, it's a little it's a little overpriced for, for the quality. And I know people are going to scream, oh, no, they're great. Um, but this is my opinion. And then we have this beautiful, t beautiful TLV, t uh, Tomica Limited Vintage TLV, LVN174B is the yellow RX7. And we know that this is very highly, nicely detailed, but um, this, this was a $35 car um, that is not far superior to a Mini GT in my humble opinion. And here we get some nice inserted details, much better tampo, finer casting lines, much, much finer details at seven times the cost of the standard Tomica. So now let's see how the premium stands up. Now, first off, we can see it says right on the box that it, the scale is 161, not 164. So it gets a little bit of a ding for scale accuracy. Now, if I'm going to pick on Matchbox and Jada and Majorette and all these other brands um, for scale accuracy, I'm 
not going to be silent. Now, this uh, was a fairly reasonable price, uh, including shipping. This was about $12. Um, and all Tomicas that I see come with a collector box. All right. Inside a plastic bag. Let's see what this is. I don't know whether that's a coupon or a flyer. All right. So inside the plastic bag. All right. So, metal body. Is that... Uh, it's hard to say. I think that's a plastic base, but a nicely... Nicely uh, detailed one. Tomica Tomy. Uh, scale 161. Copyright 2019. Made in Vietnam. Uh, the exhaust is painted. We have... A, a plastic inserted uh, lens details for the taillights. Looks like nice tampa work there. The wheels, and I think this has a little bit of suspension, which is you know not something I really care about, but I'd say minimal suspension, but it has suspension. Um, the doors don't seem to open. It's got a nice yellow interior. Uh, so, Tampo Ferrari there on the trunk lid. And I guess that's the trunk handle. The wire wheels with spinners are nice. It's got some nice details on the front. You can see the lens turn signal indicators there. Um, you can see the Ferrari logo nicely tampoed there. So, am I overly impressed? No, but this is nice. This, this is more than a $5 car or, you know, this, comparing it to the, the, uh, wellies from yesterday, I would say it's a little bit better than a wellie or, a, or a basic majorette. Um, it's... Not an auto world, although what is? Um, it's not a Mini GT. But on its own, it's very nice. And um, considering it's 2019 and it's a licensed Ferrari, um, those are all good things. Um, I like this. Uh, I like this a lot. It's very nice. Um... Now, the scale is off, so uh, what, what, what could I, well, well, there's nothing to, I don't have anything to compare this for scale. Um, it's 161 scale, so it's smaller than, say, uh, certain majorettes or so forth. Um, I don't have any other Ferraris. Um, eh. It's got some nice silver detailing there around the windshield. Uh, I don't see windshield wipers there, but then again, I believe on this car they would have been hidden underneath the cowl. Um, the convertible top boot in plastic is nice. In this price point, the steering wheel is not too bad. It's just a, a simple disc, but it's on a stalk but it's one of those cars sitting on a display it's gonna look nice so I will give Tomica another chance in the way that in in, in uh, I will not seek out TLV. They are just too expensive. Um, the uh, 
the basic Tomicas are too toy-like. But I will, I will, I will look for these Tomica Premium again. Uh, as I mentioned, that seller on eBay, again, no connection, no inducement to, um, but not being shipped from Japan seems to make a huge difference, um, in both shipping time and price, uh, and this seller seems to have quite a good selection, a wide, varied selection. Uh, the reason I picked up this is twofold. I wanted to see what this brand was like. And as I said, this is my first Ferrari. I don't do supercars, other than the ones you saw in my video the other day, but I do like um, touring GTs and Roadsters. I mean, my Kyosho Mercedes, uh, my Kyosho Z8. Um, that would actually be something I'd like to see if Tomica does the BMW Z8. I will look that up. I will see if they do any Mercedes. Um, and if I can get them at reasonable prices, I may pick up more. So, um, do any of you have the Tomica Premium? I'm sure that Matchbox Man HW24 has one or two, and I would not be surprised if David Johns of Twice Diecast... Uh, has some, uh, I, uh, you know, if you guys could comment down below. Um, actually, I would not be surprised if David Beeson uh, has a couple of these. Um, you know, he's got a varied collection from some very um, uh, exclusive Hot Wheels, and I know he's got some TLVs. And, um, so, David, do you have the Tomica Premium? Uh, two, two AHD cat. Tiz, do you have any of these? Um, yeah, and I, I, I'd love to have feedback. What do you think of the Tomica, Tomica Premium? Do you have them? Would you search them? Um, uh, uh T, T, Takara, or is it Takata? I'm sorry. Um, who I recently found. Well, I know he has TLV. Um, but I think... My feeling with, because uh, his collection and his videos are phenomenal and his knowledge, um, but I think the scale issue would be the big thing with him, which is one of my criticisms uh, of, you know, FM2, of uh, Majorette, of Shuko, of, well, not Shuko, uh, um, Barago, and some of these European brands, um, uh, Norev. I, I like to try and stick as close to true 164 as possible. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, maybe you learned something. I know I did. Uh, I think I will look for more of these uh, Tomica Premium. So like, share, subscribe, comment down below. That's what I'm really looking for is the feedback. Uh, I, also, I want to thank those that chimed in on my little short video of my old cat there. Jerry, Geraldine. Um, it, you know, it's kind of funny because uh, Freedom, uh, who I think is uh, Andrew from Switzerland, uh, he dropped his kitties' names in. Uh, Tyrone from uh, Australia, the uh, uh, building the Ultimate Matchbox collection, uh, he named out uh, Molly and somebody else. And of course, uh, Tiz has... Uh, Cleo and Thor. Somebody else had a Cleo too. I forget who. Um, so yeah, I show. I I um, Geraldine is my oldest cat that I raised from a kitten, and she's my baby, and she's twenty. So yeah, that was a that was a goof video. But again, back to the business of diecast, or back to the business of signing off. Thank you all. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have a great night.